Hi beauties, welcome back to another video of me living vicariously through Burberry makeup because I can't afford their clothes. So I found a couple steals at Nordstrom Rack that I have been trying. The first one was one of their foundations. This is the medium neutral matte glow foundation. So we tried that out in last week's video. Click here if you want to catch up and see that. That is what I'm wearing on my skin right now. I absolutely loved it. It wore really well on my face and I am certainly gonna continue using it. The next product that we are going to try out today is the Liquid Lip Velvet, and I have this in the shade Dark Rosewood. So we're gonna try this on. I'm gonna do a wear test throughout the day and let you guys know what I think. But without any ado whatsoever this week, make sure to hit that subscribe button, ring the bell right next to it, and cue the intro. I know, I look absolutely Okay, so first of all, let's talk all the deets. This is sold on Burberry's website, as well as maybe in some stores. I'm not really actually sure, um, but this retails for $34. So if you can get to a Nordstrom Rack, I did find this fairly recently, and I snagged this little beauty for $6.97. I was pretty excited. They had like four or five shades. I grabbed the one in dark rosewood number 17. So let's get this out and look at it. It says this is a bold and matte whipped lip cream. So I'm interested to see how that feels. Again, they're packaging with their phenomenal plaid print right there. That is what they are known for, of course. It looks like it's gonna be a pretty close match to my nails. I got a manicure like a week ago, so they're holding up pretty well. But anyway, that's not what you're here to see. So there is the applicator, just a normal doe foot applicator. Let's get this swatched. Ooh, okay, definitely I can tell right away that it is matte, but I am loving that color. This is a color that I stray towards. I was gonna get a kind of more bold, fun color, but I've been doing a lot of reds on my channel recently, so I wanted to go back to my tried and trues, which is like the mauve kind of plums or just like natural dusty rose pinks. So I'm going to line my lips really quickly. It, for my little baby lips, I tend to always need a lip liner. I'm just going to go in with the NYX Nude Retractable Lip Liner. Let me pop this on and we'll be right back. All right. Also, I don't know if you guys can hear the thunder. I'm sorry if you can, but it is like thundering up a storm. Zeus and friends are up there bowling because it is just thunder after thunder after thunder. Anyway. All right. Now for the fun stuff. Let's get this on and see what we think. So right away, I'm loving the color. Easy to wear, would go with almost anything. When I do like a bold makeup look, I like to kind of have like a neutral lip. This will definitely be one that I pull from for that. All right, there we go. So let's talk through the packaging applicator. Nothing special. Um, the component seems pretty normal. I do like how it comes down to like this pretty tip here, almost like a V or a diamond. That's kind of cute. It is definitely a matte, but as I'm right now, it is kind of a creamy matte. So I can see where they're saying it's a whipped lip cream, but also matte. I'm getting that. I was a little worried about like, how is it going to be whipped? How is it going to be cream? How is it going to be matte? It somehow works. The tricky part is going to be how it stays throughout the day. So look down in the description box. If you are on mobile, click the title. That is how you would get the description box to pop up. And I will write down there how it lasts throughout the day. I do have like a meal I'm going to eat after this. So that's kind of always a good test. And I'm going to wear it for a few more hours. I will write down there whether it is a flop or whether I continue liking it because right now, I really like it, like really like it. It feels creamy and hydrating, but it still feels matte. It's hard to explain. I I wish I could do a better job explaining it for you guys, but as of right now, I like this. Go grab one, especially if you can find one at the rack. It's gonna be worth it. Pick up a couple colors. Now I'm like, do I need to go back and get the other colors? Tell me in the comments. Talk me out of going back and getting the other colors or just throw caution to the wind and be an enabler and tell me to go back and get the other colors. Maybe I could film like a Nordstrom rack haul if you guys want to see that. That would be really fun. Again, if you missed the Burberry foundation video, it will be linked down in the description box as well so you can get all caught up. I have some really fun stuff coming up for the rest of the summer on my channel, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye.